Yeah, hi, it's Martin from Design For You, and in this short video, we're gonna actually show you how you can make a simple header for your website. Okay, now you could go and do this, uh, you could obviously get a actual proper graphic designer to do it if you want to do, or you could uh, use Adobe or something like that, but a lot of people uh, want something a bit less technical, and that's what I've used here, and it's a site called Canva. So let's head over to Canva and just show you how we went about doing just this image here. Okay, so we're now in our account in Canva. And as you can see from the top here, you can create a design and there's loads of different templates here. So these are certain templates. You've got a Facebook cover, Instagram post, YouTube thumbnail. And as you scroll over, it gives you the actual dimensions of the actual image so it'll be correct when you load it up to the necessary channel, EV, YouTube, Instagram, etc. They do loads more as well. So if you click on the more, you'll get loads more in here. There's a Pinterest one, there's a Facebook app, there's a Tumblr graphic, a Twitter post, and loads and loads of different things. So obviously search through here, there might be other stuff you could use Cam before. I'm sure there would be, okay? But on this one, we are actually gonna use custom dimensions which is at the top right hand corner here so we click on custom dimensions now i've already been to the back of our settings and it says we want 1200 wide as a minimum so we've actually set ours at 1600 wide and we've done a height of 600 pixels okay so then you just click design this will then load up your template OK, now on the right hand side here, you've got various different elements. Uh, you've got backgrounds, uh, you've got text. So if you hit the backgrounds, that gives you all the different backgrounds. As you can see, most of these templates are free. Some of them are uh, just a charge and it's normally about a dollar charge, as you can see from there. But you can choose any one of these and literally just click on it and it will then go on to your background. If you want to change it, just click a different color and it will constantly change to whatever one you want. OK, so that's the backgrounds. OK, so we are um, we're just going to go back to the white plain one. OK, so you've also got elements here. So there's loads of different elements in here you can use in your images, icons, shapes, lines, illustrations, etc. But uh, we are going to use some text in a minute and I'll show you how to do that. But we're also you can up, click on the uploads and this is where you can actually upload images straight to here which you can use now there are various places where you can go and get free images if you didn't have an image of something you wanted so you could go to there's places like pixabay or unsplash.com uh, as well those are two places that you can go and get some free royalty free images if you wanted to some of these are from unsplash and uh, but we have uploaded our image that we want so it's one of pippa bailey and Luna and Ted. So we just click on it, and as you can see, it loads it onto the screen. Now, as you can see, we're slightly smaller than we need, so we want it to fill the actual image size. So we can just then click on there and drag it out. So we drag it out to the edge, and I want to drag it out to this edge as well. Okay, so we've now obviously disappeared, so now we're going to just pull it up as far as we want to go, and that looks about right. OK, so it'll only print off obviously what's in the template. So we've now really, in theory, cropped that picture but without cropping it. Um, then we need some text on there. So if we click on text and we click on the add header one, that comes up in the box there. And we wanted just to put meet the bears. And we want to change the font size, uh, font size and the font color. Uh, the font itself so if we scroll down as you can see thousands of fonts in here all different sorts so you can go and uh, choose whichever one you want we want chicken script so we have then changed and we want to go to 64 pixels and what we also want to do is go and change the color so we click on color now you can choose any of these default palettes or you can click on the plus which will then give you the color palette and then you can just drag this to wherever you want as you can see that behind it the color is changing okay but we want to put in our own color here because we've got our own code that we want to put in 
So if I go back to our website and we go back to settings, now we'll find that color in our color settings. I have got the color here. So if you choose a color that you want and obviously save that into a Word document or something so you've always got it. So as you're building your site, you can go back to it very, very easily and get exactly the same color. So we then paste that in there. As you can see, that has changed. So we now have got Meet the Bears in our sort of a greeny color. And then we want some more text. So we click on the text again and we want a subhead in this time. So that is there. So we can then pull that down. And we want to change the color. So we want to go to white now. So it'd be easy to see. And then we can put our text in that we want. Okay, so we have got it there, and the uh, so we've got our text we've put in there. So follow the adventures of Bailey, Pippa, and all their friends. And what we also want to go and do now is just reduce that down just a sad. And we're going to go to 18. So that just reduces it down, and we can just bring that down a little bit there. So that's it. So that's our image. As you can see, that was very very simple to do. It's all totally editable, so you can go in and edit it and move it around, change the text, change whatever you want. Okay, and now all you need to do is then just click on the download button here and then go and download. So um, obviously I'm not going to do that because I've already done it, but that's how quick and easy it is to uh, create brilliant headers. And you can also obviously replicate this over the Facebook page so all your branding is very very similar and looks the same when people go from your social media sites to your website which is always a good thing okay so now you need to just go back to your settings and we have our header settings here and define header so then I would just click on there and that would give me the option to upload my image which is obviously all what I've done so you just click on choose file and then upload and then it will be live on my website, okay, which it is right here. Okay, so if you've got any issues, um, obviously give us a comment below and I'll try and sort you out. But until then, we'll see you on the next video. Okay, bye for now. If you like this video and want to continue your learning, then please subscribe to my channel right now by clicking on me. Just follow the arrow, it's very simple. Don't forget, I also love to hear from you, so please leave your comments below. Until the next video, take care.